Now in this day and age, it seems nearly impossible to find a job without a college degree, but unfortunately for some people, that's just not in the cards. Yeah, it can get pretty pricey. The College Board says roughly two-thirds of full-time college students pay for their education with some form of financial aid. Recently, President Obama told a group of students going through the college search process right now that the federal government can and should make the process to get that money easier. You'll hear two things on nearly every college campus across the country. The first is a Frisbee flying through the air. The second is this. Price of college was pretty important for me. So just two miles away from this university campus. It's an honor to introduce the presidents of the United States. <laughs> President Obama explained to high school kids and their parents his plan to make college easier to pay for. He's working on streamlining the financial aid application process and filling out those forms earlier so they have a better idea about how much aid they'll get. Starting at, uh, on October 1st, right around the time the college applications ramp up. Bakari Caldwell says that would have made a stressful college search process just a bit easier. It was kind of intense, you know, trying to make sure that, you know, I had enough money to afford to go to a school. He ended up at Drake as a crew scholar. It's a leadership program for minority students that helps them succeed in a mostly white school and comes with some financial aid. On top of that, Bakari applied for whatever other aid he could get. Me knowing how much money I had earlier or, um, you know, knowing what I need to cover um, would have been a lot easier. It's students like Bakari that the president has in mind. All these steps taken together should help hundreds of thousands more students pay for college, and I know that's important to you. Making it more likely that high school kids get to campus, footing the bill for their Frisbee. Some students did tell us that the availability of federal money plays a big role, too, in making the process easier. They say a lot of times private loans are more affordable than the federal ones. And I'll tell you this right now, if you're a new parent or maybe a grandparent, I have a piece of advice for you. Go ahead and start a college savings fund now. Yes, According that. to the College Board, the average cost of tuition and fees for the 2014-2015 school year was just above $31,000 at private colleges, more than $9,000 for state residents at public colleges, and nearly $23,000 for out-of-state residents attending public universities. Now, multiply that by four or five, depending on how long it takes your child to graduate. And when it comes to schools here on Delmarva, Delaware State University will cost just over $65 hundred dollars in tuition per year for a Delaware State resident. Now the University of Delaware will cost nearly eleven thousand dollars and Delaware Technical College will cost about three thousand dollars each year. Moving to Maryland now, Salisbury University will cost just over six thousand dollars in tuition per year for a Maryland resident. The University of Maryland Eastern Shore will cost nearly five thousand dollars and Warwick Community College will cost just over fifty three hundred dollars each year year. But again, those numbers are only tuition. That does not include the cost of living, textbooks, food, and so many other expenses. Yeah, you know, that's right, especially food. And it's not only a food concern when it comes to your wallet. Inexpensive processed food is a concern when it comes to your health. Now, it's important to remain healthy while also saving a few bucks. Now, here are a few tips on how to eat well on a budget. Julie Wampler has always felt at home in the kitchen. In fact, requests from college friends for her recipes were part of what inspired her to start a food blog. Despite her own ease, she gets how young people may be intimidated when facing the idea of cooking dinner on a regular basis for the first time in their lives. Number one thing that you want to keep in mind is easy and healthy, even though it might be really hard when all these takeout places are out there. <laughs> Too much takeout can take a toll on an entry-level budget. So Wampler recommends filling a grocery basket with items that stretch into multiple meals. Grains, chicken, everyone loves chicken, some people don't eat red meat, and lots of vegetables because you can actually use vegetables to be the bulk of your meal and it'll still fill you up. Registered dietitian Ann Mawney says filling up early is key for new grads adjusting to a shift in schedule. Breakfast is really important. That's the number one mistake that I see my clients making, and it's especially for recent grads who have, aren't used to getting up early. She also recommends bringing healthy snacks to the office to sustain energy throughout the day and avoid costly coffee breaks. Just thinking about pairing things that have some sort of protein um, and 
some sort of um, produce, like a fruit or a veggie. Some habits should be left on campus. Late night even eating is definitely something that should hopefully be left in college, um, especially because the late night eating choices are usually going to be less than healthy. Less than healthy, and in some cases, less than economical. Back in the kitchen, Wampler encourages those starting out to experiment. If you want to try something and go out of your comfort zone, that's great because that's what cooking is all about. You take a base and then you just add on to it to get creative. And then, you know, you never know, like, what if it works out? And you're like, oh my gosh. Take time on the weekend to seek inspiration from blogs and cooking websites and create a shopping list that's healthy for you and your savings. And you know, that's great advice, not just for college students, but for everyone. I know that I spend the weekend prepping food for the week so I don't go out for lunch. And you know, cooking is actually a really fun hobby. It, it can seem like a chore, but give it a try. You might really like it. Well, as you heard Ann say, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And still ahead, Sean is going to do some cooking. He's going to show us how to make one of his favorite go-to breakfasts, overnight oats. And the options to personalize are endless. Don't worry, we're live. We'll be right back.